Hey guys, time for another Nomad Sculpt Basics tutorial. So it's been a while since I'm in the middle of moving, so I haven't been able to do any tutorials, but I've been wanting to do some more for y'all and answer a few questions. So I'm going to go over a couple of extra features in the tube tool that I missed in my last video that a couple of y'all asked about. And I'm also going to show you a couple of the new updated things in Nomad Sculpt that I've been using this week that have been super helpful. So hopefully this is helpful to y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. All right, so as always, you're going to start with your basic sphere, but we're going to go and hide that so we can grab our tube tool here. Go to curve, do a nice little curve like that. So one of you had asked if you can put a hole through your tubes, and you can. There's a hole tool for that. It makes it super easy to do. So let's thicken the radius of that a little bit. And it's going to be this hole right there. But now you have a hole that's even all the way through. You can make it bigger or smaller if you grab the blue dot. And you can do the same thing with your basic radius. You can add different points on your radius. So you can make this thinner in the bottom than it is at the top. If I go to blending, then you can see through that. You can see that it tapers evenly in through there. So that's a super cool, useful feature. Another thing that I've been playing around with more recently is the twist feature here. So typically I like to do two twist points, and that's going to be this pink dot here now. And move that. It doesn't show a ton on a sphere, but if you go profile, you're changing that profile. So now we have more of a square instead of a circle. So now it makes that twist a lot more obvious. I've been doing this a lot with some horn, dragon horns and things like that, which gives me some really cool effects a lot easier than trying to make that twist manually. And you can even go over here to profile, and they actually have an option for you to make custom shape profiles for that tube, which is super cool. Like this is a star kind of one that I made recently. So it can give you a lot of dynamic uh, shape within that tube, which is a lot of fun. And then you can validate it, and you can grab your smooth tool. And what I've been doing is I'll smooth out some of those edges. So that way it gives me a bit more of an organic feel. But that's something that I've been playing around with a lot that I love. Another thing that's been super useful to me lately is y'all have heard me talk about the symmetry feature and the mirroring all the time because I use it so much to make sure that my pieces look nice and symmetrical and clean. But normally I've been mirroring over this axis right here. But you can actually go in now and choose which planes you want to mirror across or multiples at once, which is awesome. So typically you mirror just over the X axis, but now you can mirror over Y and Z and click on and off which ones you want. And then you can see with these lines here, they're color coded to those different axes. So blue, green, red. So you can tell what's what. And then that means you can go in and edit these shapes way more easily with way more symmetry, dynamic, things like that. So there's a lot of times where I want to edit a shape and I want to edit the sides and the top and bottom the same way. So this now allows me to do that. It's been super helpful to make my work process a lot faster. So hopefully those few tips are helpful to you and useful to you and I'll talk to you later.